Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for joining us. Today I am Anitra J from the Crafty Musician blog and welcome to the Music Biz Clinic series. This is a series where we come together in workshop mode and we will be working on building a foundation for creating and maintaining a business as a musician. And today we're going to be talking about building or creating your music business plan. So what is a music business plan? A music business plan is a document that is your key to success. It's your map. It tells you where you're going and how you're going to get there. If you're in business, having a business plan is a vital and paramount to achieving success. As a musician, if you don't have a business plan, you're often wandering by, going with the flow, not necessarily knowing what's going to work for you, how to get there, how to get to where you want to go. So it's very important to have a music business plan that's going to tell you what you need to do and how to get there in order to achieve your goals. So, for example, a music business plan tells you who you are, what you're doing, why you're doing it, who your fans are, where to find them, how you're going to produce a profit after finding them, the different systems that you have in place to earn money, or the different systems that you have in place to achieve whatever goals you have as a musician. It talks about your challenges and how you're going to overcome them. So basically a business plan is your treasure map. It is your guiding compass and it tells you everything you need to know in terms of getting to where you want to go. That rhymes. <laughs> oh, I'm so cheesy. Okay, so the other thing a business plan is going to help you with as far as if you're ever trying to get a loan, if you're ever trying to work with a bank, if you're ever trying to get money from somebody for supporting your business, if you're ever even trying to get a sponsorship, the items or the verbiage that you use in your music business plan can also be utilized for these types of things. Getting loans, getting money, being able to use other people's money to fuel your business efforts. So that's the basic gist of a music business plan. And when you work with me as far as creating your business plan, you might find that you have been missing out on some vital pieces of information to get yourself to where you want to go. All right. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do today is we are going to talk about your executive summary. The executive summary is the first page. It's kind of like a cover letter for your resume, okay? It is the first page. It's a brief description of what people are going to find in your business plan, what you're going to find in it. It's a brief description for um, letting people know what lane you're in, basically. Um, it's a great place to start because it's basically going to put you in the mindset of getting prepared to write this document. Now, I don't want anyone to be afraid. When you talk about a business plan, it just seems very daunting, you know, and that's probably why a lot of us haven't done this because it's just, it's a lot of work. So I don't want you to be afraid. We're going to take this thing one step at a time. We're not even going to get through the whole thing tonight. Just baby steps, taking small bites of this document and creating a business plan that's going to work for us, okay? So we're going to start with the executive summary. So let me pull up my little thing here. I don't have a document. I don't have anything that I'm working from. I'm just kind of going off the cuff, guys. And so we are actually going to be in workshop mode working together to create a music business plan. So we're all starting from scratch here. And if you have any questions along the way, don't be afraid to post in the comments. Let me know what your questions are, what your thoughts are. Let's dialogue and work together, okay? All right, so I am going to start with, I'm not gonna do myself. I'm gonna do a fictitious person. I found this little guy, who, where is he? Here he is. I found this little guy. Oh my gosh, what happened to August?
August was here a minute ago. Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> All right, so I found this little guy. His name is August Lately. I named him August Lately. That's the name he goes by on stage. Okay, um, I'm going to let you know. I found him on Paxos, okay? This is a random picture that I found on Paxos, a free picture. We're going to use him as our inspiration. And I named him August Lately. That is his stage name. Look at August, okay? Let me blow this up. Look at August. He's got his curly hair. He's playing his guitar. He is in the mix, okay? He is doing his thing. That's August lately. We are going to create a music business plan for him. At least I will. Hopefully, you'll be creating your own music business plan. But this is going to be our inspiration, what we're going to be working from as an example. Okay, so I'm just going to title this August lately music business plan okay tell me in the comments what are you titling your music business plan you don't have to title it music business plan you can title it something fire like anitra j is lit <laughs> that's what i'm gonna title mine anitra j is lit <laughs> Or August Lately Blueprint to Success. Name it something fun. Don't be afraid to kind of get creative with this. Have fun with this. Anytime you can just have fun, let loose, it makes the whole situation a lot easier and a lot bearable. Because basically, I'm creating a music business plan. Guys, this is boring. This is boring stuff. <laughs> But it is so important to actually do for yourself. So invest the time now. Create the foundations for success. You're going to thank yourself later. Okay? So let's start off with the executive. I can't even spell. Executive summary. I'm so excited I can't even spell. <laughs> the executive summary. August lately. Let me just title this. August lately music business plan okay i'm sorry guys i i like to just kind of do my formatting because it's it just helps me to it helps me to move through stuff real, a lot easier when i have the formatting in place okay so Executive summary. Let's look at the outline for an executive summary. And I'm just type this in here. Um, I am looking at the outline that I have put together on the Crafting Musician blog. I am going to leave a link down in the comments for you to follow along with me for looking at the outline of the music business plan. We're going to be looking at the executive summary. There are one, two, three, Four parts to the executive summary. So let's just put that together in the outline. The first part is your stage name and location. Oh, am I recording? Yes. Ooh. The second part is services and products types of music related services and products okay the second part that's the second part the third part is mission and vision statements And the last part is the purpose of your plan. And I have a notation here that that part is optional. Um, depending on what you're doing with the business plan. Okay. All right, so that is the outline. Now, 
let's start with the first step. The first step, your stage name and location. August Lately, a folk blues singer songwriter. I'm making this stuff up, y'all. Based in Louisville, Kentucky. Gets a lot of good shows there because they're all about that folk music. Grassroots, grassroots, funky, bluegrass type music. So that's where he lives, Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> oh, I already have lately. August Lately, a folk blues singer songwriter based in Louisville, Kentucky. Types of music related services and products. So let's just list out all of your music related services and products. So you do live entertainment. <clears throat> Excuse me. For live entertainment. <laughs> live entertainment for venues, um, weddings, private gigs, corporate gigs. <clears throat> Okay, now the other thing that August offers is um, music lessons, both online and in person, okay? We're talking about all the ways that you are going to be earning money as a musician. So use this section to list all the ways you're going to be earning your money. So live entertainment, music lessons, merchandise sales, how else do you earn money? How else do you earn money, August? I'm channeling my August lately. He involves, he's involved in music production. He is a basement producer, okay? He has a studio in his basement. Do they have basements in Louisville? I don't know, but <laughs> he has a studio in his basement where he offers to his fellow musicians, um, producer assistance where he produces songs for fellow musicians. He's a producer. He's a music producer. Okay. So those are the four basic avenues to which August lately earns his money with music. So the, that's the outline. Now we're going to later on write this in prose, but we're going to get through all of these steps first. And then we'll have to write this in paragraph format. The executive summary is all formal and you have to have it in paragraph format. Um, so you have to kind of write it in prose and make it readable. Like make it a story, something that someone will be interested in reading. Especially yourself because this is, this is mainly for you now. Make it interesting for you. Okay. Mission and vision statements. Okay, August Lately's vision is to provide quality music for members of the community to come together to, oh, 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 unity, unity. August like this vision is to provide, provide quality music and events for members of the community to unite and to unite, network, and enjoy 
life. Um, yeah, like, you know, a lot of us musicians, oh my gosh, what did I just open? Open Grammarly for, by accident. I'm just trying to spell quality correctly, y'all. Quality. Okay. So a lot of us musicians, we kind of have similar visions where our goal is to provide entertainment, to provide an escape. For people to enjoy life, to enjoy themselves, and to kind of escape from the hassles and stress of overall life. So that's what we're going to put for his mission, uh, for his vision statement. And his mission is to create a sense of unity um, in today's climate of division. Okay, provide a sense of unity in our community in the midst of today's climate of division. Okay, um, so August Lately, for his purpose, August Lately is trying to create a roadmap for himself to get to his goals. So the purpose of his plan is to provide a blueprint for finding success as a musician um, to sustain a living for himself and his family. All right, so I think for this business plan, we are going to write this in third person, um, but not necessarily use him and himself and he, but try to just write it in third person to where someone who is reading it, it's not too informal to where we're writing it in first person, but it is formal enough for someone to actually take it seriously. So there's a balance there. You know what I mean? Okay, let me know in the comments. Are you following this? Are you creating your own business plan? What is your stage name? What type of music do you perform? And how are you preparing your executive summary? Are you going to write chores in third person or first person or kind of a mix in between? What's, what's your take on this? The music business plan, guys, it's for you. It's, it's for you. Um, and depending on what your purpose for it is, that is actually going to speak to the, the basic tone of how you're writing it. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer for, for this particular question. So it's good to come together and see what other people are doing. All right, all right, so let's start to flesh some of this out and create the prose, the paragraph format for this executive summary. And let me just say, guys, if you hear my honey bun, my little Harley in the background saying things, whining and crying, that's Harley, that's my little sweet girl. She's nine months and hashtag mom life. So I will apologize in advance if you do happen to hear her. She is doing her thing, child. Her dad is with her, so there's that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and write out what we have here and make it a nice little executive summary. So stage name and location. We're going to do just a brief, maybe one or two sentences for just describing who the artist is. And for the purposes of the end result of this, we're trying to make it so that it doesn't have these titles, like these section titles, your stage name and location, uh, music service and things. It's supposed to read um, 
like a story. So we're going to do what we can to kind of mesh these together and make it kind of like a narrative or a story. Okay, so this is, what do I want to say, like welcome to, okay, this document serves as the official business plan for August Lately, August Lately. A folk and blues singer-songwriter located in Louisville, Kentucky. August lately August lately typically performs and so you're going to kind of describe the music, describe the live performance, describe the the overall vibe of the of the artist of yourself. So August lately typically performs as a solo artist with um, an electric guitar and a what are those things what are those things that you have that um I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I've always wanted to try, but it's the thing you put down on the ground. You step on it. There's different um, buttons that you can step on, and it creates these uh, loops, uh, synchronized loops. I don't know, but that's what he performs with. I'm going to have to use something else because I can't even remember the word that I'm looking for, the term for this thing. A looper. Oh, my gosh. So simple. An electric guitar and a looper. Duh. Okay. Okay. What do you guys have so far? August Lately typically performs as a solo artist with an electric guitar and a looper. So this is your opportunity to kind of just describe briefly what you are, who you are, where you're located, and kind of describe a little bit about what what you present, what type of music you present, your typical vibe, okay? Um, his music is, um, his music is a modern mix of pop with a, ah, I put poo, <laughs> a modern mix of pop along with the classic vibes of folk and blues. Okay, um, next section. So we're just gonna delete this heading. The next section is types of music related services and products. August lately. Okay, so with this section you're going to basically describe the types of services that you offer as a musician and what types of products you're going to be offering on um, on your website or what types of services I already said that what types of services products and if you do any consulting or anything like that okay so August lately provides live entertainment both locally and internationally for music venues private events such as weddings festivals 
as well as for festivals <clears throat> and what else do I have down here? What other types of music? Festivals and markets. Art markets. In addition to live entertainment services, August lately, provides music lessons, I don't know why that happened, for kids ages Five to seventeen. Let's say guitar lessons provides guitar lessons for kids ages five through seventeen in both online and in person in his basement studio. Okay. You know what? Instead of, let me, I, I forgot. I want to add merchandise sales up here as well since that goes along with live entertainment. <clears throat> Okay, August lately incorporates custom. I'm thinking, I'm thinking out loud, guys. Incorporates custom merchandise as a part of his live shows for people to purchase as souvenirs including t-shirts custom cds books we just like like coffee table One more thing, coffee table books and prints. August Lately incorporates custom merchandise as a part of his live shows for people to purchase as souvenirs, including t-shirts, custom CDs, coffee table books, and prints. <clears throat> In addition to live entertainment services, August Lately provides guitar lessons for kids ages 5 to 17, both online and in person. So you, for your purpose, you will be including things that you do as far as how you earn money and your products and your services that you offer. It might be this, uh, similar to what August Lately does, or it could be something totally different. Maybe you do sync licensing. Maybe you are... Um, Maybe you are monetizing your YouTube um, t channel or maybe you are providing influencer marketing or as part of your music, um, as part of, a, part, a part of your music journey. Let's see. There are so many, so many ways that you can earn money as a musician. So, you know what? It runs the gamut. So, make sure you... Do what makes sense for you in this section. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. By all means, this is your document, okay? For fellow musicians, August Lightning 
provides um, producer services for um, music production. Consulting. on an individual basis. Okay. All right. So we have one, two, three paragraphs and we are almost done with the first section of our business plan. Okay, mission and vision statements. August Layton's vision is to provide quality. You know, I've already kind of written this out. Um, August Lately's vision is to provide quality music and events for members of the community to unite, network, and enjoy life. Um, the hope is to... Yeah, so with... Um, with... An easy, light-hearted vibe with an easy, light-hearted vibe, both in lyrics and melody. I'm just kind of going off at the, at the mouth here. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just making this stuff up as I go along, guys. But I'm hoping that this will kind of inspire you to do your own thing and to create a beautiful executive summary of your own. With an easy, lighthearted vibe, both in lyrics and melody, the hope is to provide a sense of unity in our community in the midst of today's climate of division. So I'm going to say the, since I'm trying to go third person and all. The hope is to provide a sense of unity in the community in the midst of today's climate of division. In the following pages of this document, in the following pages of this business plan, yeah, okay, the following pages of this business plan provides I know I need to find another word for provides. I feel like I'm using that so much in this <laughs> in this executive summary. It's crazy. The following pages of this business plan provides a description of Provide a description of the overall operation, business operations financial forecasting and profit profit like profit estimates um, of August Lately's August Lately's a uh, business goals. Um, this business plan something to the effects of the desire of this business plan is to outline how August Lately will provide a sustainable um, how the music business for August Lately will provide a sustainable um, career 
so this business plan, what do you think? <sighs> Sometimes it's really difficult to, it's really difficult to, uh, <laughs> to write because you kind of get lost in everything. We're almost done though. Okay. This business plan. Let's just say the goal of this business plan is to outline how August lately will achieve financial success and a sustainable, a financially sustainable career as a musician. Bada boom, bada bang, we're done. The goal of this business plan is to outline how August Bailey will achieve financial success and a financially sustainable career as a musician. I can't even spell it for the life of me tonight, you guys. All right, so that is the executive summary. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts on creating the executive summary. Is it easy? Is it hard? What parts were difficult? Let me know in the comments section. And next time, we are going to be working on the business description. This is the section where we're gonna talk about how your business is structured, how long you've been in business, a description of your services and products, providing more detail about who your customers and clients are and things like that, and talking about business goals and growth highlights. Next time, stick with us. We are going to be talking about your business description and how you can create this section of your business plan and make it fun and exciting. All right, so let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining us today. And remember, you can do anything you set your mind to as long as you commit. Okay, guys? Thank you for hanging out with us and keep